The next oblique projection that we must replicate is this L shape right here. As with all the examples in this exercise, we have the lowest left corner already done for us in the empty workspace and we're going to start by drawing the baseline. The baseline here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 squares to the right. So count your squares, mark a dot if you find that helpful, and then draw your construction line. Let's draw the back part of this L shape. This vertical line right here is again four squares high. So one, two, three, four. Mark a dot if you find that helpful and then draw your construction line. Now let's draw this uh, upper horizontal line. This line is one, two, two squares to the right. Now remember that at this stage, we are using only construction lines. So always keep these lines as light as possible. Now this vertical line is once again two squares high. Make a dot if that helps and then draw your line. And now let's draw this inner V. So two squares to the left from this point and then connect that line with the upper horizontal line that we have drawn earlier. And that is our front view. Now let's move on to the lines which are at a 45 degree angle. Now this baseline right here is two diagonal squares up. Of course, you have to go up, but to the right side. So there you go, two squares to the right, and then draw a light construction line. Let's do the same with the other corners. So from this corner, once again, two squares to the right. The thickness of this shape is always going to be two squares. So in each and every corner that you have, on your on your L shape, make sure to always move two squares to the upper right. All right, now those are all the 45 degree angled lines. Now let's connect them all together. So let's start from the top and work our way to the bottom. Now that this oblique L shape is finished, now let's darken the outlines of this shape. To darken, all you have to do is to go through each and every line which belongs to the final shape.
Now to avoid smudging while darkening your lines, make sure to always raise your ruler from the paper and not slide it. This is, of course, a tip to always keep your work as neat as possible. So instead of sliding the ruler onto the next line, raise it up a little bit. Now let's move on to shading the three views. The front view is always going to be shaded in green. The end view is going to be shaded in blue and the plan will be shaded in red. So basically, whatever you see from the front is in green, whatever you see from the end side of your, of your shape is going to be in blue, whatever you see from the top is going to be in red. <laughs> 